Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Project Property. Today I'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight and an overview of what I've been doing as part of my university course uh, and why I've been absent and sort of what's going on. Part of this course uh, I submitted some 30, well it's technically like 90 page document three days ago so it was quite a lot but my sketchbook accounted for 60 of those pages. My actual design itself consists 28 pages so still a lot of work and then I have one more submission which is due in four days so we've got a lot of work to be sort of getting on with and I'll show you guys all of that as it goes because it does directly affect the project and how sort of we've been moving forward because I have been absent from sort of obviously the community and all that sort of stuff and um, the last month because of this because this is just, just so intense but we have been working on a lot of other stuff in the background that haven't been community driven and don't require as much time but still require a lot of attention to detail which honestly I, I hopefully if everything all goes through with this I'll be able to share with you guys these details I'm really excited for that and fingers crossed it all works we probably won't have another answer from that for the next like sort of six to eight weeks so we still got a long time frame but in that sort of time frame I'm going to be working uh, on building the community uh, being more active and sort of engaging here and, and just sort of really sort of sorting this launch out for this NFT stuff because we've missed our launch date of May unfortunately we just didn't have the community like I would have loved to have been able to launch it we had the market crash all that sort of stuff and there's a whole update video that I'm gonna have to make on that once we finish this and go over our, my, my plans for building this community back up to where it should be uh, so today I'm gonna show you guys my design and um, or my design proposal for my major project. Uh, so I'll show you guys my design and then the document that I'm currently working on and then the technical document from that design, which is what I'm working on right now. So let's show you guys the design portfolio. So for my design submission, which was submitted on the 30th of May, uh, was a hybrid sustainable housing document. And uh, this is basically what it is. <laughs> 28 page document of my design process. So as part of that, I wanted to look at hybrid affordable housing to make it so people uh, who couldn't afford houses could have a entry level uh, apartment into uh, the housing industry. Here I made a physical model of my uh, chosen site. This is Palmerston Road in Portsmouth and this is an old Debenhams building. Debenhams went out of business during the COVID times, sad times, but here it is. And here is a master plan of it. So you can sort of see a little bit of a key, the main sort of vehicle routes, the main pedestrian routes, what type of retail and buildings there are here. And there are already hybrid buildings along here with retail with residential above. Here's a little schedule of accommodation that we have to make up. So we have to make up our own client because we're given a brief, which is to who's our client and choose what kind of development we're going to build. It's very sort of free into our own interpretation, which is kind of annoying because you'd like to work to some sort of specifications, but this gives us a bit of freedom. Here I looked at some building precedents, so different buildings that sort of would interpret my design and help me. So we've got the eight house, which was designed by big architects, the two world trade center concept and eco complex. It's me looking at some uh, physical models uh, and sort of concepts of, of what I could design on the site. Development models and sort of how I worked with the 3D shapes to come up with a form. Applying that form to sort of diagrams and how I'm going to split it up. So we have our residential uh, units on the corners, cafes uh, on these sort of open edges and retail, and then obviously orientation to make the most of the south facing site. Here we have our sort of sun path diagram. We've got our wind coming in from the northeast and a little bit of uh, extra stuff. Sort of form on the site context, site access and how people will actually get to it. So you've got your vehicle access along the side and then uh, public circulation routes with pedestrians. Elevation of what the building will look like, sections of sort of the two sort of areas with the section line getting cut down along that sort of east side of the building. And another bit on the west side, I would have done a cross section, but there wasn't too much to show in terms of that because it's a flat urban site. We have apartment layouts, so the different apartments I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do mainly focus on one and two bedroom apartments with one three bedroom penthouse. It's looking at our floor plans with our retail units on the bottom, a cafe here on the corners, and then our residential sort of hybrid. Little bits of green space starting to get added and our blue uh, sort of retention ponds that are gonna help with sort of site uh, filtration. Structure and how it's gonna look sort of structurally. So I've just gone for a concrete frame. Uh, so you've got your thinner slabs for areas where there isn't too much weight. And then you've got thicker slabs for areas where there are gonna be roof gardens. A Little bit of technology information. So how sort of the building is gonna act. Summer, water collection, and obviously the different sort of technical analysis here. How our trees are gonna work on the site. Here are a few of my external views on what it's going to look like, internal views on what some of the apartments might look like, 
external perspectives from what people as pedestrians would see when walking around it. Our courtyard render, which is our sort of main selling point. So my next project is my major project technical resolution. So what you guys have just saw, and I have to do a technical analysis of the entire site and development and how and where I followed all of the correct regulations and all that sort of fun stuff. It's not very fun. It's a little bit of boring, but this is sort of what goes into creating these works. So uh, we've got a little bit of a, a short introduction here of the actual development itself. And now I'm working on sort of fire safety and all this sort of stuff. So, so far I've done uh, identification of purpose group. Uh, so you got sort of pink for the residential, uh, green areas for the cafe spaces and blue for the retail. And then we've got these sort of gray areas here, which is sort of storage uh, circulation routes, which don't have any sort of livable spaces or any usable spaces. It's more pass through areas that you go through. This sort of uh, comes in, we've got to do details of compliance and how we comply with all the correct travel distances. So that's part of the vertical circulation and travel distance plans. Looking at the part B <laughs> fire safety document, not a lot of fun. I've got about six pages to do as part of that and then we have access from the road and the use of the building so how fire trucks are going to get access how people are going to access via like car parks uh, pedestrians how they're going to get into the building task two is about the sort of overall mechanical and environment strategies for it how the ventilation is going to work how the solar analysis is going to work so shading passive uh, solar gain rainwater collection all that sort of stuff everything that sort of goes into a building and all of its different strategies that's going to be on this page uh, the materials and the environmental strategy so what the effect of the building is going to be over the long term, the type of materials that we're going to use and how they're going to be sustainable, active design strategies, which were like the shading and cooling I mentioned, thermal mass and, and the different R values of the materials and how they sort of interact with the building and, and how they work with the environment. Then we also have structural frame. So we've got to have a to scale one to 100 floor plan of the sort of structural frame. So you'll be able to see each of the structural columns and a plan view that sort of hold the building up and, and obviously the thicknesses and how thick we need to be as part of the amount of weight we're holding up. We've got construction details which are sort of zoomed in portions of the building where you can sort of see like each individual layer so if you were doing like a stud wall you'd have the timber you'd have plasterboard either side and you'd have sort of i don't know you'd a thin layer of plaster on top of that and then you had your paint so you basically detail like, exactly what's there at the exact scale so there's a lot to do and i'm a busy person so with that said i have to get all of these done by the 6th of june which isn't going to be a problem at all i should have this page done by the end of the day and then i'll just follow in suit doing a page per day some of these are a lot quicker like the details are a lot easier and quicker to do um because it's just sort of simple sort of drawing lines and, and adding material uh, diagrams and stuff like that uh, stuff like the section here with the environmental strategies and stuff that takes a bit longer because you've got to do a lot of research into sort of how effective the materials is going to be on, on the environment so for those of you that are wondering there's a lot that goes into uh, my course and all that sort of stuff in the background as well as managing my house uh, tenants just life in general then gym all that sort of stuff i'm a busy bee uh, and we are working on a lot of stuff in the background uh, on the villa tour stuff and i honestly there's some things uh, if this works it's it's going to be amazing and i honestly can't wait to show you guys because it looks like we haven't been doing too much because i haven't been able to speak and i don't want to over promise and i don't want to say stuff that might not happen but we are working on stuff and if it works it's going to be incredible so keep up with that uh, thank you guys for sticking around with me it's not too much longer before I can start focusing uh, more on the community and the development of, of everything else. The NFTs are all ready to go. Um, we just need to build a community. So everybody get your community building pants on. We are going to smash this out the park. Uh, starting, I, I've got to take a break. I have to rest um, between the 6th and at least some time. I've given myself at least until the 10th of June. Uh, I've said that my next available stuff will be on the 12th of June. And I know in between that time, I'm going to want to do other stuff because I can't sit still. I have to be doing something. So I'll probably be starting work around uh, the 8th, uh, 8th to 10th of June anyway on the project. So uh, see the Twitter start getting more active. See the Discord getting more active. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button comment down below on what you thought the best part of that development was and i'll see you guys all in the next project property